So, am I said, um, let me come up with a small problem. I had a small problem a few days back. Uh, the problem was uh, with Gmail. Uh, you know, these, uh, you know, in your houses, you have your problems with your brothers and uh, even the uh, that doesn't go well, you know. So, me and my brothers, that doesn't sync. So, what happened is, uh, I happened to uh, leak out my Gmail password to them, uh, which was my laptop's password. So, uh, that was stupid. So, what he did is, he gave me a staring look when I, when I said the password. And uh, after a couple of minutes, I understood that he, he, he found my Gmail password. So, I, I, now, it's a, now it's a problem that I should run back to my system and change my Gmail password. So, look what Gmail gives me when, when I move through the steps of changing my password. So, first is the settings. You have to navigate in the settings. Then you have other settings. Yeah. So, I am not sure whether the settings icon is the setting app. Yeah. setting. So, then you have the next window open. So, I just copy some parts. So, then you go to accounts. Then you go to change password. Yeah. Uh, and change password is not directly there. You need to go to Google account settings. Then from there navigate the, the, that comes up with a new design page and uh, with the security. Then from there you navigate to password management and then click on the change password and finally I'll count the button and then I change the password. Within that he told me uh, this was a look that you gave to me. <laughs> so, uh, basically, today we are going to talk about uh, constructive design for Android. Uh, Android is all about construction. It's uh, why I name constructive is it's a process. It's not like you you think of a design in a night and uh, make it a lab. It's just like how we hack, right? Uh, we code in the night and we say it's a product. So. But design is not that. Design is iterations, a lot of iterations. Uh, first you come up with a small idea, then maybe this icon fits here, no, no, this doesn't fit here, then you change it, then iterate it, iterate it. If you go and see over all the uh, portfolios of big companies uh, like uh, Path or Circle, uh, many of you must have used them, right? those are best design apps, right? So, they have gone through a lot of iterations. If you see their timeline, it's huge. So a little bit about me. Uh, uh, I basically design every day. Sit on Photoshop, Android a lot. I love Android, and uh, and I love uh, Drupal, Stack Overflow, and, and HTML5. So these are my my space. So and by the way, that tool was done by one of my friend Andrew. <laughs> uh, so. Why, so I was telling about constructive. So, so constructive is like a process. So you don't uh, build up just design, just like that. So let's talk about today's agenda. Uh, so by the end of this day, uh, we will talk about design focus. Then we will talk about observe, uh, observe your audience, observe your customers. Then uh, I'm gonna like make you guys tell a story uh, with. Uh, with an apps like great apps have beautiful stories. Uh, the thing is, we have not discovered it. Many people are really uh, I, I found it, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure that you begin that. And uh, by the end of the session, you should get the idea of it. So then we'll get little techie. Uh, we'll get into Android. Uh, we'll go to what flexible design or uh, uh, since my Android is completely too much fragmented. fragmented. So uh, we'll, we'll, think, we'll focus on how uh, we can decide for that tablets and what is the solution and stuff like that. So then we see the design patterns that has been recently released by after um, uh, ice cream sandwich and a lot of lot of uh, dates have been done in design, a lot of changes, a lot of iterations have been done by Android to make their platform the best. Okay? Uh, I basically support uh, iPhone because it's Awesome. So, iPhone is yeah. You have to accept. Right? As a designer, I should accept. iPhone is mostly it's like a uh, it's a design based company. So, for Android, it was a code based company, but now it's turning on. So, things are changing. 
So then we wrap up. Uh, so yeah, Max is easy. Design is hard, and uh, bad design is a fail. So great design is to put focus on where it matters. Okay. So uh, what do you mean by focus? Focus is like when your app, you launch an app, or you design your app. Where does the user first see? What is the impact that you give to the give to your users? Uh, is it that beautiful uh, capture icon that Instagram has as well? Is it that uh, plus icon that Path has as well? What what is the focus? Okay, so uh, we get that little uh, we get a little artistic. So since we write are like you know, I think think maybe like the more technical guys, uh, I think some little art artistical stuff. Um, Take a look at this painting. Uh, you know, it's Mona Lisa. I haven't seen. If I leave you like uh, ten couple of seconds to see this image, uh, you would end up in some position where you'll be focusing a lot. Okay, I'll tell you where you'll be focusing. So what if I move this image a little back? So now your focus will change into more like your your moving your your eyes tend to see a lot of things, maybe the background, or hair, color, the curls, and hair. So then I will push it back. So then it becomes even more interesting that you will see, like, oh, now you are like completely diverted. Like, like, you have lost your focus, okay? <laughs> so that's bad design. <laughs> so, so when you first saw Mona Lisa, so where did you see? So exactly the eyes. So the eyes are blue. Uh, the eyes, if a person from there see, a person from here see, he is watching you. So what what does this convey to Android design? Because that's a topic. So 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 so, so this is a small visual perception. Uh, like you you first tend to see the eyes and the nose and then the lips. So, so target exactly the center, the eyes. Okay, so, so beautiful. What I'm trying to say is, the beautiful stuff, make it prominent. Your app might not be as great as different beautiful apps, but some elements that you do make it beautiful. That they will neglect the other parts and they will focus on. And uh, so. What does visual per perception matter for design? Uh, what does this really uh, does this actually come into Android? Yes, it comes. Um, so my favorite app, Path. So when you open Path, when you first see a photo, display image, the, the icon of the person, the, the display photo, then where do you see? The nav path. So where do that can you navigate in path? Where uh, 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 can you move in the path and stuff like that? So it's another app. Uh, it's any do. Uh, most of you must have used it. It's a productive app. Uh, so it's very simple. They have hit to the direct emotional point of your perception value you see. So it's actually uh, what you want to do at the, day, at the start of the day. Then comes the what is today and what is tomorrow. And this is one of my favorite apps. It's not an Android app. It's an iPhone app. It's clear. Uh, it's also a tool in this app. Uh, this. Uh, so, so what I'm trying. To, so in this app, is an example of now you can break the uh, rules. Like uh, it's not. It, this app is not. It's, it's, it's not focusing on elements. It's focusing on colors. The heat. The heat map that you can see. The red is highlighted. That like that's the most important thing that you that you need to do. That's very important is yellow and stuff like that. So designing for simple. So the when you are designing for simple, uh, I mean to make a simple design, what you need to do is uh, take your art, okay, uh, and then your idea, your design, then the idea, and then the user. So these three are the elements. When you bring a good sync between your art, your idea, and the user, you have a successful app that you can 
that's ready to launch. So, um, so, so, it's it's basically this is achieved for design, hide the complicated stuff. When 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 uh, when usually when you, when you see Mac Mini's ad or something, it would be just a simple front portion of that. But there are complicated stuff that should be there. Okay, so then then why you can use a uh, product? So hide it, keep it somewhere back, or uh, yeah, if you're actually in terms of app, keep it somewhere in settings. Uh, focus on what a company is on, or your uh, uh, idea is on, uh, or your app concept is on. Yeah, simple is hard. Uh, always look to eliminate features in your design. Uh, so, why I'm trying to say is, uh, Already, if I ask you to design, it would be really complicated. Okay, the, uh, you would have uh, put uh, okay, maybe I'll have a tab navigation here. No, I have hundred as this swiping page of you. Oh, that's beautiful. I should have that down or a library and use it. Yes, you do all those stuff, then sit back say, at the end of the day, think of whether this element is needed, whether this will work. Uh, and start eliminating. I am sure if you start eliminating at least 10 elements, then that's your. And if you still make the product the best, then that's the best design app, I would say. So, this is a small differentiation between a complicated design and a simple design. So, uh, the design on the left is like completely towards uh, everything is in the front, of the maybe in the call it just a dashboard. Or a console or something, but make it simple. Keep it, keep it as simple as that. Uh, so that's uh, paper money. That's another app, right? So what was the Android app? That was Android app. The last one. Paper money. Paper money is Instagram for money, right? Yeah, Instagram for money. So then we will move on to observe. Uh, so observing is more like thinking uh, on terms of your user point of view, uh, what the user will think and uh, if, the, if, you are, if, you are, uh, if the user is being satisfied. This is a small quote, I don't know whether Henry Ford really said this but uh, was on Google. Uh, if I asked my customers what they wanted, they would have said faster passes. He would have made faster passes but he didn't do that. He made uh, much better things than that. So, uh, but he took a step, maybe, if that code is true, like, uh, the person needs to, uh, the, the user, the, the developer needs to take a step to understand what the user is wanting in an app. So, look what the user wants and uh, what the user expects. Uh, and whenever you are, uh, don't be afraid to keep it, uh, don't launch it immediately, okay, so you have your app, Give it to your user, check it. Uh, give it to your mom or someone in the world, check it whether if it works. Check it if uh, she's able to understand, understand your icons, uh, understand the navigation, if she's able to come back to the home page again, if she's able to use the app again, if she's able to memorize it, use the app uh, repeatedly. So, and the third one is like, what do you want users to want? So that's your point of view. Like you, you should, you, you have certain things that okay. I want the user to uh, do one, two, three. So whether he's doing, so check it. And uh, so this is one of my first Like impact matters more than impression, right? So it's not about how beautiful your designs are, or like if, if it's you're using blue colors or, or beautiful logos or stuff like that. No, it's about how uh, how you create an impact to the audience? Facebook, the only designs. If you see now, stuff to the core, but it had an impact. That's why it, it got its use of it. So uh, people are able to uh, able to easily understand what uh, what what you need to do in that page. Uh, so this is one more example that I would like to quote. Uh, how many of you have used this phone? Love this phone. 
So, what do you love in this form? Snail. 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 Yeah. Snail. 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 So this had uh, this is a small stat that it was in 2003 that it uh, hit the markets of 200 million uh, users using this phone, which is comparatively high. Yes, that matters when it compares to 100 million iPods and uh, 15 million PS2s that were sold on the same year. Yes, that matters. Uh, so that button, okay, save reaching slide like it's easy to erase a message faster. Really fast, can type really fast. And look at the thing that there's this very simple scroll. Okay, like you need to uh, push or uh, something. It's, it's very fast. Okay. So when we come to the most interesting part, tell a story. Uh, so instead of me telling what how to tell a story, I'll show you some examples. Then uh, one, the story of Instagram. Uh, it's one of the successful lab. Uh, so, what do you have first? You need to open this item. Then you just capture it. Capture it, please. And, and upload it. As simple as that. This works. This, uh, this, this whole concept of if anyone can use an Instagram just like that, you can upload it and take a snap and put it as well. So it's good. It's okay. Now, so, uh, so, so the thing is, uh, uh, it's fast. Uh, keep your the, this is small secret. Like keep your apps not more than four valuable steps. Okay, so that's that's why you can impact your audience. So I was talking about impact. Here's what you need to do to get that impact. Okay, keep it very small, uh, straightforward, just two, three things. <coughs> Expense app, just open the app, add an app amount, and as well as an expense or an income, then submit it. That's all. So, this is a report. Fine. <coughs> so, this is Postgres to be even more interesting. So, you open the app, locate where you are, then you check in. So it's fast as that. And everything everything is rest like Postgre does it for you, right? Like whether you have got a badges or whether your friends are there in your second position or that. So next is rest is like what you is the empathetic part that you need to have uh, that Foursquare or Instagram does like follow as well. Uh, see what is the uh, art, uh, Instagram photos that are there, uh, explore, explore the hot photos that are there in the Instagram or explore by tags or search by users. So those are the empathetical stuff that you can do to retain your customers, retain your users to keep using the app again and again. Okay, so that's 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 why you hit emotionally. So first in fact hit emotionally uh, get to their heart that uh, get personal. Uh, don't don't get scared to be a person. So that's what is the work. So let's move a little technical. Uh, so this is like more towards hand, right? Uh, so yes, how many people say it's fragmented? Yes, a lot of devices. How am I going to do it for? Or so so many like small resolution. That's an, as an Android device that's from 2.5 inches screen. That's a watch to Google TV, right? So it's huge. So how are you going to design apps that's for that's for, that's, that's scalable for all these as a design? So my definition of fragment is fragment is some uh, I mean, some people say fragment is future. Okay. Uh, no, I I completely disagree with that. Fragment is not future. Fragment is past. Fragment is present and the future. You already designed web apps that have been fragmented like from, from small screens to large uh, large screens or stuff like that and uh, then you you have de developed desktop apps that, that has to be uh, compact, compact with all the screens. 
So fragmentation is already been there. So Android is just using it, like uh, Android is just an uh, universal support and so on saying that good and these are these are the platform, use it wherever you want. So but most of the part, uh, trust me, most of the part is done by Android itself. Okay, you just need to learn some basics. Uh, you just need to learn, understand some core concepts on how you can scale your designs to all different platforms. So the rest of the session will move on how to learn those uh, little uh, basics to scale, scale your apps to all different screens. So yes, don't think like an Android designer, think like a web designer, how you are going to uh, uh, show it for a small, a small display, uh, something in screen or anything in screen. Think it like a web designer, design it like a web designer. Uh, so these are some some of the uh, elements that Android gives you. Uh, so you have the native layouts, you have absolute layouts. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, linear layouts with uh, weights that you can specify. And then you have frame layouts. So the native layout, uh, as usual, uh, it's like you can stretch. You can say that Android has a small. Uh, in the future, you can you can say specify that it's. Uh, uh, fill, fill, fill parent or match parent and it fits it. The parent uh, device resolution, it, fits, it stretches and fits it, that's all. Then have your relative layout as a parent and then all the child elements that you put inside the layout. Say it like, okay, that's my parent and uh, stretch it vertical towards my parent or whether if you are putting a navigation bar on top or the bottom. So, uh, so that's an uh, awesome feature that Android offers you. And uh, uh, linear layouts with weights, that's uh, another amazing thing because uh, I mean, you could have seen this multi plane layouts on tablets, like there will be a left, uh, left plane and the right plane, like uh, some navigation should be on the left and uh, the right side, right side will be the details part, but if you click on one element on the left, you will see the details on the right. So, uh, so, so that's, uh, that's about the, uh, the layouts. Uh, so then we move to encapsulation, how we can do this. Uh, so, so the thing is, the context man, uh, is the same. Okay. So what if, uh, I mean, your, your code and uh, your, uh, your, 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 your design elements, everything is the same, but the whole device just changes. Okay. So, so the resolution just changes for, so yeah, everything is the same. I mean, I don't, I don't encourage people writing for multiple there is an option where you can write for multiple screens, like separate APKs. But what will you do if uh, and, uh, you got an error report on one APK and uh, not on another APK? It's hard to trace out. So, uh, so this is one good uh, uh, thing that you can include layouts. So you design already layout. Say it's, uh, so, so suppose like this is a video clip that's uh, used in let's say an app. Uh, so this video clip is already a custom layout, which is a view, and uh, it has been specified somewhere in your JavaScript. I mean Java. Uh, so in uh, you can say that uh, that your view, that my, that's the custom view that you have built. Uh, in any anywhere, anywhere in your Java program, you can say that my custom view, you have, uh, I mean that view by find view by ID, and get that element, and then just find the data in it. So it's like uh, the data are in a separate structure and the view elements are in a separate structure. So you just need to bind these data to uh, those views. So the context, I mean the device resolution just changes but nothing more changes. So it's like the, con the concept is like, it's like constructing a Lego block. So in small screen you move these blocks in such way that it fits that space. Then you in a landscape, you get more white spaces. So, how do you position your uh, Lego blocks to fit to that? So, it's like that. So, I'll pass the walk through all the uh, layouts that are there in the Android that has been released with the uh, Ice Cream Sandwich and later versions. And uh, so, this is a single plane layout. When you click on an element, uh, list item, and it opens the detail view in the next, uh, next page. And uh, then you have multi plane layouts. Uh, so, so you get the context, right? Uh, the, the details was in a separate page in your small screen, but when it comes to large screen, your details is in the same place. You can do this by fragment, uh, less than Android uh, 
uh, element called fragment that you can use uh, in order to uh, load uh, elements, UI elements dynamically. Okay. So that's that. And then this is uh, these are a lot of uh, Google uh, offers you a lot of styles that Google offers you. Like you can if you, you can use multiple layout with stretch and compress. Uh, then you can use multiple layout to stack uh, like some elements can be stacked over what and what and what. So uh, then you have multiple layouts with expand and collapse. Thing. Uh, this is a more common feature that you can see in most of the apps. Click on an element, uh, the, the, the UI little expands, then you can navigate, then you can see the detail. Uh, so then it's show, right? You must be using, if, if you are using tablets, you must be seeing this uh, in Gmail. Like, uh, if you want to show what an inbox, like, pick an icon, then it, it moves and shows it, then it collapses it. So, these are all already there. You just need to take the code and so the same patterns. Uh, uh, so navigation. So it's like how the user navigates between your apps. Uh, these are some of the patterns that Google. Uh, actually, actually, it's like Android was highly criticized uh, a few years back, saying that it was it was it was it was, it was not that the patterns were not strong. Like uh, you can the elements were ugly. And, uh, I I accept it. So. So now it has completely revamped. So these are the patterns that Google offers you, and it's up to your choice that you can change your uh, uh, elements like colors or something like that. So this is uh, screen to screen navigation. This is tab navigation. You can see like feature all stand, all dogs on the top. So these are the tabs which I do. And this is drill down. Uh, good example for modding so good. Click on uh, any uh, news and it goes down like deep inside. So you click again, it goes deeper inside. Then, in order to come back, you click your back icon and it comes back one by one, stack by stack. So, this is one type of navigation. These are all just ideas that you can use for your apps to build a better hands on So, uh, some people take it wrong that uh, up there, there's, there's a two uh, elements in Android that's been re re released recently. Like there's back button. Uh, Android has completely uh, taken away the hardware buttons that is uh, below the mobile interface. But uh, some uh, mobile providers are still there having it. But uh, in future, that that will that will be completely taken. It can be a completely coded uh, uh, back buttons and the home screen buttons. So, yeah. so, uh, so what's the difference between up and the back? The back is like uh, moving one stack behind, okay. So you drill down or something, and you go to the next plane or something, and you go to the previous stack. Uh, this uh, back button on the top is it's like going to your home. Like uh, suppose it's like a list view with item one. You click on item one, and it shows item one details. Maybe from there you show the video. Click on video, then it shows the view. So in the video, if it's, if, it, if you click on uh, uh, back button it completes it completely back comes back to the list view. So that's back button. Then uh, this is like uh, moving this, this is what I was like training So navigation, how you navigate like uh, can you can you see that like the, the red color is a back so it comes to the previous tab but if you click anywhere in the yellow on top it moves back to the phone. So then you have action bars, beautiful uh, ways to try it. Uh, uh, previous version of, if you, if you guys were thinking like previous version of uh, action bars are not available, like how am I going to have an action bars on 2.3 Android or 2.2 or Android? That's an action bar Sherwa, that's, uh, that's an API that you, that you can use uh, uh, to, 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 uh, to, to bring the action bar, say, say you can feel on uh, 2.2 and it works brilliant, use it. Um, so this is action bar. Uh, action bar is completely where uh, your your navigation, your uh, where you want to put your navigation or what, what your uh, branding elements or logo and stuff. So this multiple action bar, you can have a work up to the three action bars like main action bars on top and then it have view and the bottom is like uh, little unwanted elements like maybe it needs to come up when like you know, long press on this. 
So, this is the context of action bar when you long press on a uh, list, I mean, an, an item in the list, and it, it comes up with some small animation like this, or comes where they want to delete it, or they want to send it as the, and this is also offered in SQL sandwich. Uh, so, tabs in action bar, tabs in action bar is very useful when, it, uh, when you are using a tablet layout. Uh, you don't need to put another tab layout and uh, uh, make it more stretchable. You will have only three tabs and it will be like squeezing and I mean stretching it to whole view. So, uh, action bar itself can have tabs. Uh, action bars can have spinners. Uh, spinners like you can, you know, uh, it's like more of a simple navigation. It's like more like filtering of the music. So, those kind of effects. Uh, so, action overflow, uh, this is a small the three dot button that you will be seeing in some apps on the corners. Is this a replacement for the menu icon? No, I am actually that was my mistake. <laughs> so, this is not a replacement of this. <laughs> so, why why it is like, uh, men, men, it's a, uh, the naming itself is like clear, the Google is named it clear, it's overflow icon and this is a menu icon. So, Google has completely eradicated the concept of menu in Android. So if you, so why do you use the overflow icon? Is like putting some elements that can be had in the action bar, but you don't have space, so you put it in the overflow. Uh, how this matters is when your device is stretched. Suppose if there is a space, yeah, it won't be in the action bar. It will be on the action. I mean, I mean the overflow window. It will be on the action bar itself. So that's. And uh, swipe use, uh, it's beautiful, it's, it's very easy, you can swipe in the, the, between use, it's most uh, commonly used in most of the recent apps for ECS. Uh, then, I mean, I'm a little out, I'm completely finished. So from here, like preparing your assets, that's the most uh, like toughest part. How are you going to prepare your assets from Photoshop to Android? So many people have these doubts. So so as a designer, if, I, if, you, if you're giving me a, a job, obviously, saying, would give me a, a layout of uh, designing an app. I would first uh, design it for the high resolution X uh, which is 220, I mean 320 DPI. Uh, so I would design it for that resolution, then scale it down, uh, then scale down to the smaller, smaller, smaller screens. Uh, this, this, this actually this concept varies for tablets because tablets you don't design phones and tablets the same design. No? Uh, tablets can uh, it's good when tablets have multiple layouts. Then, uh, if it's the same, it would all your uh, tab navigation should be stretchy. So, uh, design uh, from the top ahead and see. So, some random inputs. Uh, impact matters more than impression. Uh, so, create a good impact. Yeah. Design is not about products, it's about people. Uh, it's like, uh, it's not about like. How, how big a product is, it's like how much people are more interested in So, uh, think of communication and not decoration. Uh, so, when you are when you're designing or when your designers help you with, uh, I'm, I'm sure like I'm not taking you guys completely into uh, how to be a designer. No, the session is not about that. Be a design thinker. Uh, if, if you can't uh, do the Photoshop work, it's, I know it's tough. So, uh, think of communication and not everything. Don't escape to steal. Many people have said so. Uh, but still, wisely, like uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, the inspiration. Take it as an inspiration. Take uh, uh, things like uh, your, you will see a lot of dribble shots. Steal those cooking things. Take it to the next level. <laughs> you know, see, come on. That <laughs> thing is a designer as well, okay? So, if you are uh, if you are a marketing guy or a geeky guy, take your designer near you. Do see all these dribble shots. Take those small elements, put it in. These, these small elements, put it in. It really works. Okay. Uh, many of you are aware about dribble, right? It's another awesome. It takes a long time to get record. Yeah. If anyone wants to invite, like <laughs> so. Uh, to be a designer, I mean, so this is where I want to wrap it up. So to be a designer, it's hard to be a, become a design thinker. It's very easy. Um, so these are some of the things that I am talking about all over everywhere. It's a really good site. Uh, on it, it rates how Android ice cream sandwich app should be. It rates out of ten. Uh, 
and it's a really good blog that's been uh, very active to <coughs> Uh, AndroidNiceBees.tumblr.com is really, uh, it's a really inspiration website where you can browse all the cool apps which has beautiful design. So have you heard about Android, I mean PTTRNS that iPhone has it right? Uh, so this is the Android part of it, AndroidNiceBees.tumblr.com. Then don't miss out the developer.android.com slash design slash index So that's the page where everything is documented. Every Google has documented every single thing. Uh, my talk would not, not, not have made you uh, big, but that, that, that link can help you a lot. So then action bar shell up, that's the side. And almost every time. Next time we do an event like this, what do you want to listen to? Anybody? I can't believe you are actually that hungry. I mean, like waiting for me to just shut up so you can run away. Okay, so we'll start with that. Alright, so thanks everyone for coming. And um, I also have to thank the Startup Center for hosting us here. Vijay, uh, come on. So, how many of you here for the first time ever? You know, been to the startup center before. Yes. Good. Intro man. Oh. <laughs> um, so, um, what do we do? Uh, we we are a center which basically works with early stage entrepreneurs. Uh, we do a couple of events and things like that, but uh, predominantly the reason why we started this place is also that we can host meetings like this, right? Uh, I, I think Chennai really really lacks a place like this. Uh, that was the intentions for this, right? So. I, I, I think that also um, was for Isaac, I think that was a fantastic presentation. You know? um, it's really hard to find someone who understands design for what design is, not what art is. You know, because most of the time you find people who talk about design tend to be from the art background, and uh, they confuse art and design. Whereas design is actually more science than aesthetics. And uh, I think Isaac completely nailed it. So that's, I'm really, really happy to just be through this presentation. Thank you, Isaac. <laughs> and thanks everyone for coming again. I hope we'll see you again next time. <coughs>